Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. Do you want to learn English but can't leave home? Let English come to you on Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Word Power. Today, we're learning words in English that begin with the letter O. Say O. Yes, that's right, O. O is a vowel. It makes two different sounds. Long O sounds like O. Short O sounds like AH. Are you ready? Let's learn words that begin with an O. Oak. 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 Now you say it. Oak. Yes, say it again. Oak. That's correct. Oak means a large hardwood tree that produces acorns. From a tiny acorn grows the mighty oak tree. Oak. Say it one more time. Oak. Yes, well done. Or. 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 Now you say it. Or. Yes, say it again. Or. That's correct. Or means a pole with a flat blade. It's used for rowing a boat. The sailor uses two oars to row his boat. Or. Say it one more time. Or. Yes, well done. Oasis. 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 Say it with me. Oasis. Yes, again. Oasis. Correct. Well done. An oasis is a place in the desert where there is water and plants and trees growing. After our long walk in the desert, we came to an oasis and rested. Oasis. Say it one more time. Oasis. Yes, that's correct. Oat. 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 Now you say it. Oat. Yes, again. Oat. That's correct. Oat. An oat is a grain used as food for humans and feed for animals. The farmer uses oats to feed his horses. Oat. Oath. 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 Repeat with me. Oath. Yes. Say it again. Oath. One more time. Oath. Yes, that's correct. An oath is a serious, formal promise. The witness took an oath that he would tell the truth on the witness stand in court. Oath. Say it again. Oath. Yes, that's right. Obedient. 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 Now you try it. Obedient. Again. Obedient. One more time. Obedient. Well done. Obedient is doing what you are told to do or when someone does what he or she is asked to do. The child is obedient to her mother. Obedient. Say it one more time. Obedient. Yes, that's correct. Obese. 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 Say it with me. Obese. Again. Obese. Yes, that's right. Obese means very fat. The chef was quite obese and it was a health concern to his wife. Obese. Obese. Say it one more time. Obese. Yes, that's correct. Obey. 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 Repeat. Obey. Yes, say it again. Obey. Correct. Well done. 
Obey means to do what someone tells you to do. You should always obey your father. You should obey your teacher in the classroom. Obey. Say it again. Obey. Yes, that's correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Come join our classroom. Say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Object. 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 Say it with me. Object. Yes, again. Object. Yes, one more time. Object. That's correct. Object has two pronunciations and several meanings. Object means something that you can see and touch but is not alive. There are several objects on the table. Object also means a person or thing toward which attention, discussion, feeling, or thought might be directed. She is the object of his affection. Object, which is spelled the same but pronounced differently, means to dislike or disagree with something. Sarah objects to the way Edgar was treating her. So you have object or object. Say them both with me. Object, object. Well done. Obnoxious, obnoxious. Obnoxious, you try it, obnoxious. Yes, say it again, obnoxious. One more time, obnoxious. Yes, that's correct. Obnoxious means very unpleasant, annoying, or even offensive. That person can be really obnoxious. I don't care to be around him. Obnoxious, say it one more time, obnoxious. Yes, that's right. Obscene, obscene, obscene. You say it, obscene. Yes, again, obscene. One more time, obscene. Yes, that's correct. Obscene means indecent or even shocking. David's language was obscene. He was asked to leave. Obscene. Obscure. 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 Now you try it. Obscure. Yes, again, obscure. Well done. Obscure means something that is not well known. Even the librarian had never heard of the obscure author. Obscure. Observant. 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 You try it. Observant. Yes, again, observant. One more time. Observant. Yes, well done. Observant means you are good at noticing things around you. The detective solved the case because he was extremely observant. Say it one more time. Observant. Yes, that's correct. Obsess. 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 You say it. Obsess. Yes, say it again. Obsess. One more time. Obsess. That's correct. Obsess means to think about something all of the time, over and over again. All Joan ever does is obsess about her hair. Obsess. Say it again. Obsess. Yes, that's correct. Obstacle. 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 Now you say it. Obstacle. Yes, again, obstacle. Correct. Obstacle means something that gets in your way. The fallen tree is an obstacle in our pathway. Obstacle. Say it one more time. Obstacle. 
Well done. Obtain. 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 Say it with me. Obtain. Yes, again, obtain. One more time, obtain. That's correct. Obtain means to get or to be given something. You can obtain information on any subject by using the internet. Obtain, say it again, obtain. Yes, good job. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Children can learn English by watching Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Obvious. 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 You try it. Obvious. Yes. Say it again. Obvious. That's correct. Obvious means something that is very easy to see or simple to understand. It was obvious that Tara needed an umbrella because it was raining hard outside. Obvious. Say it one more time. Obvious. Yes, that's right. Occasion. 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 Now you say it. Occasion. Again, occasion. One more time. Occasion. Yes, that's correct. An occasion is a time when something happens. A wedding is a once in a lifetime occasion. The party was a lovely occasion. Say it one more time. Occasion. Yes, that's correct. Occasion. Occupation. 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 Repeat with me. Occupation. Yes, again. Occupation. Correct. An occupation is a job or a career. Being a doctor is John's occupation. Say it again. Occupation. That's correct. Occur. 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 Now you say it. Occur. Again. Occur. One more time. Occur. That's right. Occur means to happen. The migration of birds occurs in the spring and the fall. Occur. Say it again. Occur. Correct. Ocean. 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 Repeat. Ocean. Say it again. Ocean. Yes, one more time. Ocean. Well done. The ocean is the entire body of salt water that covers 71% of the Earth's surface. The children like to swim in the ocean. Ocean. One more time. Ocean. Yes, correct. October. 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 Now you say it. October. Yes, again. October. Well done. October is the 10th month of the year. There are 31 days in the month of October. October is right between September and November. October. Say it one more time. October. That's correct. Good job. Octopus. 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 Now you say it. Octopus. Yes, say it again. Octopus. One more time. Octopus. Yes, that's correct. Octopus means a sea animal with a soft body and eight long tentacles. An octopus can be seen on display at the city aquarium. Octopus. Say it again. Octopus. Yes. Good job. Odd. 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 Now you say it. Odd. 
Yes, again, odd. That's correct. Well done. Odd means something or someone is strange or difficult to understand. The old man seems very odd. He never leaves his house. The child had odd behavior. I wonder if he was feeling bad. Odd. Odd. Say it again. Odd. Yes, that's right. Well done. Odor. You try it. Odor. Yes, again. Odor. One more time. Odor. Yes, that's correct. An odor is a smell. The flower has a sweet odor. The garbage has a bad odor. Odor. Say it one more time. Odor. Yes, correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. For a brighter future, just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Off. 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 You try it. Off. Again. Off. Yes. Good job. Off means something is not turned on or is not working. Frank has turned off the computer. Off also means to remove from something. Mother took the books off the table. Off. Say it one more time. Off. Yes, that's right. Offend. 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 Now you try it. Offend. Again. Offend. That's correct. One more time. Offend. Yes. Good job. To offend someone means that you make them feel hurt or angry. The ungrateful child will offend her grandmother. I do not want to ever offend my friends. Offend. Say it one more time. Offend. Yes, that's correct. Office. 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 Now you say it. Office. Again, office. Yes, that's correct. Office has two meanings. An office is a room or a building in which people work or meet. Tom's office is in the middle of town. Office can also mean an important and usually powerful position. Peter was running for the office of president. Office. Say it again. Office. Yes. Good job. Official. 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 You say it. Official. Yes. Let's say it again. Official. One more time. Official. Well done. Official has two different meanings. An official is a person who holds a position of authority. The soldier is a government official. Official also means something that has been approved by someone in authority. The judge sent Sam an official summons to appear before the court. Official. Say it again. Official. Correct. Often. 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 The word often has a T in it, but the T is silent. Often. Say it with me. Often. Yes, again. Often. One more time. Often. That's correct. Well done. Often means many times or frequently. The couple often goes for walks in the morning with their dog. I like to speak with my daughter often on the telephone. Often. Say it one more time. Often. Yes. Well done. Oh. 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 Now you say it. Oh. Again. 
O. Yes, that's right. O is a word used to express happiness, surprise, excitement, or disappointment. Oh, tomorrow is my birthday. Or, oh, he lost the race. Oh, say it one more time. Oh, correct. Oil, oil, oil. You try it. Oil. Again, oil. Yes, one more time. Oil. That's correct. Oil is a thick, greasy liquid that burns easily and does not mix with water. Different types of oil are used for heating buildings, for cooking food, and for making machines run smoothly. Oil. Say it again. Oil. Yes, that's correct. Ointment. 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 You try it. Ointment. Yes, again. Ointment. One more time. Ointment. Yes, well done. Ointment is a thick, often greasy substance that's put on the skin to heal it or to protect it. The nurse put ointment on his burn to soothe the pain. Ointment. Say it again. Ointment. Yes. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. I always loved my mother, but I remember one day I got really mad at her. When my dad got home, I knew I was in trouble. But instead of getting mad at me, he taught me a lesson I'll never forget. The ball I was throwing was damaging the fence. My dad told me that harsh words can be even more destructive. Life's most important lessons are best learned in the home. Thanks for watching Hello Channel. Learn the language of the internet, travel, commerce, and diplomacy. Watch Hello Channel and learn English. Do it for yourself. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. You probably have heard of this word. Okay. 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 Now you say it. Okay. Again, okay. That's correct. Okay means something is all right or you approve of it. The lifeguard said it was okay to go swimming in the lake. Okay. Old. 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 Now you say it. Old. Again, old. One more time. Old. That's right. Old means something or someone that has lived or lasted for a long time. Vera put on an old sweater that she'd worn for years. The man is 75 years old. Old. Say it again. Old. Yes, that's right. Olive. 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 You try it. Olive. Again, olive. Yes, that's right. Olives are small black or green fruits eaten whole or crushed for oil. The boy liked eating whole olives for a snack. There are many olive trees that grow in the Middle East. Olive. Say it again. Olive. Omen. 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 You say it. Omen. Yes. Say it again. Omen. Well done. An omen is a sign or a warning about something that will happen in the future. Adam thought the unusual weather was a bad omen 
of things to come. Say it one more time, omen. Again, omen. Yes, well done. Omit, omit, omit. Now you say it, omit. Again, omit. One more time, omit. That's right. When you omit something, it means you leave it out. The cook omitted part of the sugar in the recipe to make it healthier. Omit, say it again, omit. Yes, well done. On, on, on. You try it, on. Again, on, well done. On means something is in operation. The television set is on. It also means to be above and supported by something. The glass of milk is on the table. On, say it one more time, on. Correct, good job. Once, once, once. You try it once. Again, once. Yes, one more time, once. Good job. Once means it only happened one time. The traveler had been to Paris only once. The teacher gave the instructions only once. Once, say it again, once. Correct. One, one, one. You say it, one. Right, again, one. Good job. One means alone or singular. The boy ate one piece of pizza. I have one dog in my family. Each person has one nose. One. Say it again, one. Yes, that's right. Onion, onion, onion. Say it with me. Onion. That's right. Again, onion. Well done. An onion is a round vegetable with a strong smell and a strong taste. Onions are the edible bulbs of a plant. We often use onions to flavor our food. Say it one more time. Onion. Yes, good job. You did very well today. Now. Practice some of the new words you learned on Hello Word Power. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hello, my name is Ruth and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Word Power. Today, we're learning words in English that begin with the letter O. Say O. Yes, that's right, O. O is a vowel. It makes two different sounds. Long O sounds like O. Short O sounds like AH. Are you ready? Let's learn words that begin with an O. Only, only, only. You try it, only. Yes, again, only. One more time, only. That's right, good job. Only has two meanings. Only means not more than. There were only four people that came to the party. Only also means with nothing or no one else. He was the only person at home. 
only. Try it again. Only. That's right. On to. On to. On to. You try it. On to. Yes, again. On to. Correct. On to means to put something in a position or upon. The cat climbed onto the couch. Onto. Say it again. Onto. Yes. Onward. 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 You try it. Onward. Again. Onward. That's right. Well done. Onward means to move forward. The vehicles moved onward toward their destination. Onward. Say it again. Onward. Yes. Good job. Opaque. 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 You say it. Opaque. Say it again. Opaque. Yes, that's right. Opaque means something that does not let light shine through. The water in the stream was muddy and opaque. Say it again. Opaque. Yes, well done. Open. 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 Now you try it. Open. Again. Open. One more time. Open. That's right. Open has several meanings. When something is open, that means it is not shut, closed, or sealed. The door to the house was open. If you are open about something, that means you are honest about it and you share your ideas about something. He is open about the difficulties that happened to him. If you are open, you can accept new ideas. Barbara was open to suggestions. Open. Say it again. Open. Yes, correct. Opera. 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 Now you say it. Opera. Yes, again. Opera. One more time. Opera. Well done. An opera is a play where most of the words are sung and the singers are accompanied by an orchestra. The actors in the opera have always had elaborate costumes and large voices. Opera. Say it again. Opera. Yes, that's right. Operate. 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 You say it. Operate. Yes. Can you say it again? Operate. One more time. Operate. Well done. That's correct. To operate something means to get it working or to get it to run. The worker knew how to operate the heavy machinery. Operate can also mean to cut into someone's body to repair a damaged part or remove a diseased part. A surgeon is a doctor that specializes in how to operate on patients. Say it one more time. Operate. Yes, correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. We learned English. Your kids can too. Just watch Hello Channel. So you two must be very proud of Johnny. Well, we sure are. Yeah, he's a great kid. So is he working at the dealership? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, he is. Oh, right, the dealership. Yeah, he just started there and... Actually, it's it been about six weeks. Has it been that long? Hmm. What's he doing down there? Well, you know, he does a bit of the, um... Hello, what do you call it? Um... Detailing? Uh, right, right. Detail. Right. He loves washing those cars. Actually, Tom, he hates washing cars. He just thinks it's a good place to start until he can move into sales. Ah, well, that's my Johnny, huh? Forward thinker. He graduates next year? No, 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 no. See, he still has a couple of fun. Yes, he does. Oh, 
Johnny. Yeah, sure. Johnny graduates next year. Need to get closer to your family? Larry, what about your kids? You have kids, right? Somebody you can talk to them, no? Give your family everything. Give them your time. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Opinion. 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 You say it. Opinion. Yes. Say it again. Opinion. One more time. Opinion. Correct. Well done. An opinion is someone's ideas or someone's beliefs. In the opinion of the scientist, the earth is getting warmer each year. My mother has a strong opinion on what time we should sit down and eat dinner. Opinion. Say it one more time. Opinion. Yes. Well done. Opponent. 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 Now you say it. Opponent. Say it again. Opponent. One more time. Opponent. Yes, that's right. An opponent is someone who is against you in a fight, a debate, a contest, or an election. The player stared into the eyes of his opponent. Say it again. Opponent. That's right. Opportunity. Opportunity. That's a long one. Let's try it again. Opportunity. Say it again. Opportunity. Yes, one more time. Opportunity. That's right. Opportunity means a chance to do something. Kathy's new job gives her a great opportunity to travel around the world. Going to school to learn English is a great opportunity. Opportunity. Say it again. Opportunity. Correct. Oppose. 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 Say it with me. Oppose. Yes, again. Oppose. One more time. Oppose. That's correct. Oppose means to be against something and try to prevent it from happening. Carl is going to the town meeting to oppose the building of the new factory. I oppose the ideas of my mother. Oppose. Say it one more time. Oppose. Correct. Optical. 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 You try it. Optical. Yes, again. Optical. One more time. Optical. Yes, that's right. Well done. Optical means it has to do with eyes or eyesight. A microscope is an optical instrument. Say it again. Optical. Yes, that's right. Optimistic. 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 You say it. Optimistic. Again, optimistic. One more time. Optimistic. That's right. Optimistic means to always believe that things will turn out for the best. The team was optimistic that they would enjoy victory. I am optimistic about the future. Say it one more time. Optimistic. Well done. Or. 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 You try it. Or. Yes, again. Or. One more time. Or. That's correct. Or is a word used to introduce choices or alternatives. They could eat the cake now or save it for the party. I will wear my white dress or my black dress. Or. Say it again. Or. Yes, that's right. Oral. 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 You try it. Oral. Yes, again. 
oral. One more time, oral. Correct. Oral has two meanings. Oral means the spoken word, not the written word. For Katie's presentation, she gave an oral report. Oral also has to do with your mouth. Kevin was very careful to practice good oral hygiene. He brushed his teeth several times each day. Oral. Try it one more time. Oral. That's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Orange. 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 Now you say it. Orange. Again, orange. Yes, one more time. Orange. Correct. Well done. Orange has two meanings. An orange is a round citrus fruit with thick orange peeling on the outside and sweet, juicy, delicious fruit on the inside. The girls ate their oranges with their lunch. Orange is also a color. It is the color of carrots or a mixture of red and yellow together. The car is orange. Say it one more time. Orange. Yes, correct. Orangutan. 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 Now you try it. Orangutan. Again, orangutan. Yes, that's correct. An orangutan is a large ape with reddish hair and long, strong arms. The children took a trip to the zoo to see the orangutan. Say it again, orangutan. Yes, correct. Orbit, orbit, orbit. Now you say it, orbit. Again, orbit. One more time, orbit. That's right, well done. Orbit is the invisible path followed by an object circling a planet or the sun. The moon is in orbit around the earth. Orbit. Say it again. Orbit. Yes, correct. Orchard. 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 Now you try it. Orchard. Repeat. Orchard. Again. Orchard. Well done. An orchard is a field or a farm where fruit trees are grown. The orchard is full of apple trees. I will pick fruit in my father's orchard. Say it one more time. Orchard. Yes, that's correct. Orchestra. 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 You try it. Orchestra. Again, orchestra. Mm -hmm. One more time. Orchestra. Nice job. Orchestra means a large group of musicians who play their instruments together. The crowd enjoyed a night at the orchestra. Orchestra. Say it again. Orchestra. That's correct. Orchid. 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 You try it. Orchid. Yes, again. Orchid. One more time. Orchid. Yes, orchid. An orchid is a plant with colorful and often unusually shaped flowers. The orchid is a delicate and beautiful flower. Orchid. Say it again. Orchid. That's correct. Ordeal. 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 Say it with me. Ordeal. Again, ordeal. Correct. An ordeal 
is a very difficult or painful experience. Audrey's sudden illness was a terrible ordeal for her family. Ordeal, say it one more time. Ordeal. Yes, correct. Order. 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 Yes, say it with me. Order. Again, order. Well done. Order has several meanings. Order means to tell someone to do something. Jason's mother ordered him to wash the dishes. If you order in a restaurant, it means you tell the server what you would like to eat. Roxanne decided to order the steak and potatoes. Order also means to have neatness. Stephen always leaves his room clean. Everything is in order. Order. Say it one more time. Order. Correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello. That's right, I said hello. I'm talking about an exciting new television channel that will change your life. My name is Ruth and I want you to be one of the first to know about Hello Channel. Hello Channel is designed to teach you to speak English. Anyone can learn. We offer something for everyone. You'll see programming for children, teenagers, and adults, all on different levels. With Hello Channel, you'll hear, see, read, and speak English as you're watching entertaining television programs, making it easy to learn. If you've always wanted to learn English, but haven't had a chance, Hello Channel is perfect for you. Start today and remember, for a brighter future, just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Ordinary. 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 You try it. Ordinary. Yes, again. Ordinary. One more time. Ordinary. That's correct. Ordinary means something common, normal, or usual. The Smiths live in an ordinary house. Ordinary. Say it again. Ordinary. Well done. Organ. 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 Now you say it. Organ. Again. Organ. Again. Organ. That's right. Good job. An organ is a part of the body that performs a particular function. The liver is one of the largest organs in the body. The heart is a vital organ in your body. An organ is also a large musical instrument with one or more keyboards that looks something like an electric piano. The organ can make a loud, beautiful sound in the cathedral. Organ. Say it one more time. Organ. Yes, that's correct. Organic. 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 Say it with me. Organic. Yes, again. Organic. One more time. Organic. Well done. Organic means using only natural products with no chemicals, no pesticides. Teresa's family eats only organic fruit. Organic. Say it one more time. Organic. Yes, well done. Organism. 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 Try it. Organism. Yes, please repeat. Organism. One more time. Organism. Yes, good job. An organism is a living plant or a living animal. Even something as tiny as bacteria is considered 
an organism. Say it one more time, organism. Yes, that's right. Organization, organization. That's a long word, let's try it together. Organization, again, organization. One more time, organization. Yes, good job. An organization is a number of people joined together for a particular purpose. Susie belongs to an organization that finds homes for unwanted pets. Organization. Yes, good job. Origin. 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 You say it, origin. Again, origin. That's correct. Well done. The origin of something or someone is where it all began or where it is from. The river's origin is 20 miles upstream. Origin. Say it one more time. Origin. Yes, that's correct. Ornament. 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 You try it. Ornament. Mm -hmm. Again, ornament. One more time. Ornament. Yes, correct. Ornament means a small, attractive object used for decoration. Peter hung the beautiful ornament on the Christmas tree. Ornament. One more time. Ornament. Yes, that's right. Orphan. 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 You try it. Orphan. Again, orphan. That's correct. Well done. An orphan is a child without parents. The orphan was hoping to be adopted. When both parents were killed in an accident, the children became orphans. Say it one more time, orphan. Yes, that's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. My name is Kate, and you're watching Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Ostrich. 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 You try it. Ostrich. Yes, one more time. Ostrich. Correct. Ostrich means a large African bird that can actually run very fast but cannot fly. The ostrich is the largest of all living birds. Say it one more time. Ostrich. Correct. Ounce. 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 You say it. Ounce. Please repeat. Ounce. That's right. Well done. An ounce is a unit of weight. 16 ounces equals one pound. A small mouse weighs less than one ounce. Say it again. Ounce. Yes. Hour. 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 Now you try it. Hour. Yes. Again. Hour. Correct. Hour means belonging or to do with us. They came over to our house. That is our favorite television show. Our. Say it again. Our. Correct. Ourselves. 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 Now you try it. Ourselves. Mm -hmm. Again. Ourselves. One more time. Ourselves. Yes, well done. Ourselves means us and no one else. We're proud of ourselves for the work we did today. We can carry the packages ourselves. Say it again, ourselves. That's right. Out. 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 
Now you say it out. Again, out. Yes, one last time. Out. That's correct. Out has several meanings. Out means away from the inside or away from the center. The baseball players spread out to be able to catch the ball. The couple went out for dinner. He is out of his office. Out also means that something is not in. Betty took the shoes out of the box. Say it one more time, out. Yes, correct, out. Outcome, outcome, outcome. Now you try it, outcome. Yes, again, outcome. That's correct, outcome. An outcome is the result of something. The politician did not like the outcome of the election because he had lost. Outcome. Say it again, outcome. Yes, that's right. Off. 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 You try it. Off. Again, off. Once more, off. Yes, that's right. Off has several meanings. Off means away from the place in question or at a distance. I must run off to the store to buy some bread. Off also means removed or separated. The man takes off his jacket or John will rope off an area of the room for special guests. Off can also mean absent or away from work. Fernando is off for three days, or Marie is off on maternity leave because she is having a new baby. Off also means the position on an electrical appliance where the power supply has stopped. It is the opposite of on. Turn off the lamp when you leave the room. Will you please remember to turn off the television at noon? Off. Say it one more time. Off. Correct. Well done. You did very well today. Now, practice some of the new words you learned on Hello Word Power. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Word Power. Today, we're learning words in English that begin with the letter O. Say O. Yes, that's right, O. O is a vowel. It makes two different sounds. Long O sounds like O. Short O sounds like AH. Are you ready? Let's learn words that begin with an O. On, on, on. You say it, on. Again, on. Right, one more time, on. Yes, very well done. On is the position with electrical appliances that supplies power and makes things run. Turn on the lights so I can see in the dark. Or turn on the radio so we can listen to the music. On also means in contact with and supported by, as in, the water is on the table. Please read the sign on the gate. 
Bill is outside lying on the grass. Put on your jacket in the cold weather. On can also mean during the course of a journey. Melissa is on her way to visit her mother. On can also mean being broadcast on radio or television. There is a new program on Channel 6. My favorite radio program is On at Midnight. Say it one more time. On. Yes, well done. Online. 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 You say it. Online. Say it again. Online. One more time. Online. That's right. Online means controlled or connected to another computer or network. Online also means connected to the internet or the World Wide Web. You can go online to read the most current news. You can check the weather and your bank account online. Say it one more time. Online. Well done. Or. 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 You try it. Or. Again. Or. Once more. Or. Yes, that's correct. Or is a word that is used to show different choices. Would you like coffee or tea? Will we drive today or tomorrow? I will choose the color red or yellow. Or can also mean otherwise, as in you'd better hurry or you will miss your airplane. Say it one more time. Or. Yes, that's correct. Well done. Orchestra. Or cus tra. Orchestra. You say it. Orchestra. Again. Orchestra. One more time. Orchestra. Yes, that's correct. An orchestra is a group of musicians who play classical music together on musical instruments. An orchestra includes string instruments, such as violins, cellos, and violas. An orchestra also has woodwind instruments, such as clarinets, oboes, bassoons, and flutes. In an orchestra, there are brass instruments, such as trumpets, trombones, and French horns. And an orchestra has percussion instruments, such as the xylophone, the cymbals, the timpani, or kettle drums. Rebecca's daughters play instruments in the school orchestra. Say it again, orchestra. Correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Other, other, other. Now your turn. You say other. Again, other. One more time. Other. Yes, that's right, other. Other is a word that refers to a person or a thing that is different or distinct than what has already been mentioned or known about. Put the keys in the basket or some other place where you will find them. We can eat at the cafe or some other restaurant. Lift one hand in the air 
and then lift the other. Say it again, other. Yes, that's right. Outside, out, side, outside. Now you say it, outside. Again, outside. One more time, outside. Yes, that's correct. Outside is the external side or surface of something. Write your name on the outside of the envelope. Outside can also mean situated or moving beyond a boundary of a room, a building, or other enclosed space. There is a boy standing outside our door. The dog is still barking outside. Say it again, outside. Correct, well done. Over, over, over. Now you try it, over. Again, over. One more time, over. Yes, that's right, good job. Over has several meanings. Over means to cover something. I will spoon the sauce over my spaghetti. Over also means above. Charles is happy to have a roof over his head. Over also means extending directly upwards from, as in, I watched the fireworks over the water, or we could see black smoke over the city. Over can also mean duration or the time something takes. My cake recipe became famous over many years of baking and eating, or my friend tells me her problems over our lunch break. Over can mean by way of, as in, she broadcasts the news over the airwaves. Over can also mean higher than or more than. Next year, I will travel to over 10 countries. I run over three miles each morning. Say it again, over. Correct. You did very well today. Now, practice some of the new words you learned on Hello Word Power. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.